say this was such a peaceful and joyous event for me to watch. Men was just so peaceful. I love Han Yu and I adore Nathan. However, when either of them are in a competition or when they are both competing together in the same event, my anxiety level is usually at a 10. And this is because unfortunately, aside from the judging and the ISU corruption, the toxicity of some of their fandom members is just next level. So having this event where those factors were removed just made watching men skating that much more relaxing for me. Now, our podium was Shoma Uno, Yuma Kagiyama, and Vincent Zo. I love this podium for so many reasons. First of all, I like to call this the underdog podium. First, I'm so happy for Vincent. I feel like the amount of time and effort an elite athlete must put in to reach the international level is beyond anything we can even imagine. Now, after putting in all that work, finally reaching the pinnacle of your sport, only to find yourself locked in a room and unable to compete, Honestly, I think I would have completely lost it. The fact that he kept it together, pulled himself back up, showed up at Worlds, and managed to get a medal just shows what inner strength and character he has. And I really hope this is the direction that he wants to take his skating. And if he doesn't want to continue skating, I hope that he's content with how this world has turned out for him. Because really what he's done, I feel like a lot of people would not have been able to do it in his position. And then we had Yuma continuing his medal collection with another silver. Yuma has, without a doubt, some of the best jump techniques and skating. He has nice, tight arm and legs position in the air. Good height, great ice coverage, nice ride out, deep knee bend, sinking into the ice, softly riding over it. Technically, I have nothing bad to say about Yuma's jump. Program complexity, delivery, performance. All those things on the other hand, not quite there. I fear that they will focus only on his jump at the expense of him growing as a full skater. And I really hope that doesn't happen to him because there is something so endearing and cute about humor that I just find myself rooting for him and wanting him to do well. But at the same time, I want him to deliver a full package so that I can feel comfortable rooting for him to win. And then my baby, Shoma Uno, finally got out of second place land and won his first world title. You know what? More than the medal, watching a happy, healthy Shoma complete two clean program was everything to me. I feel like after the two and a half years that he had where he was just he just looked exhausted and over skating and I honestly thought at one point he would just leave it. But I feel like being with Lombiel has really breathed new life into Shomo skating. I hope he's able to like make it to 2026. And I feel like this was a great stepping stone for him to see that yes, he can do it. The judges will go with him if he gives them enough to go with him and I hope that motivates him to stay because you guys know I just love Shoma he is like small in stature but he is so grand he project his ice coverage the tension in his arm his beautiful movement you guys know I am a Shoma fan um much like the seniors junior was the junior world was another exciting event for men um, Ilya Melanin, the chosen one, delivered and won the title. While um, Kazakhstan, Mikhail um, Shidorov became a surprise silver medalist. And then rounding off the podium was Japan, um, Tatsuya um, Saboy. Probably didn't say that name right. This was a very hard event 
for the Japanese men. Um, literally, I feel like Tatsuya was the only Japanese men in the top 10. But even with their outing here at in juniors, I'm still not that worried about about the Japanese men because skating for men in Japan is so deep. They have so many great skaters. And I don't feel like one bad event really discount what's going on with the program in that country. While this outing was a little disappointing for the Japanese men, it was historic for, you know, um, Kazakhstan. Mikhail coming from 8th in the short to an overall silver medal. Wonderful. Jumping wise, Mikhail will have a solid junior and senior career. However, skating skill, everything else, sorely lacking. I mean, Mikhail is coached by Alexei Yer um, Yermov, who is an Alexei Mishin student. And we know that Professor Mishin is a great technician, but he is not much for the rest. And I feel like without the rest, Mikhail is literally going to have to wait for other skaters to make mistakes in, uh, in order for him to get on the podium. I feel like now that he has his quads, he has solid jump technique. I really hope his team is like, go do some edge work. Let's work on those spins. Let's get your step sequence foot, you know, levels up to at least a three. I really hope to see him next, next season as more of a complete skater. As for the winner of this event, Golden One Ilya, winning this title by more than 40 points. Without a doubt, Ilya is talented. However, U.S. figure skating has this habit of pushing young skaters too much and too fast. They never learn and they are quick to put on the label of the next coming. I really hope they can give Ilya some room and some space. He isn't even out of puberty yet, so there is no telling what the future will hold. Having said that, the inflation, the Ilya overscore inflation is going to be next level. We had the Chen inflation era. However, Patrick Chen had such beautiful skating skill, it was understandable. Then we had the Nate Flation era, which again, Nathan with five quad, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. However, these two eras will be nothing compared to the ill Flation era. U.S. figure skating has its checkbook ready, and we know the ISU and the judges will always follow the money. I cannot wait for next season to see Ilya's scores in seniors because it will literally set figure skating Twitter ablaze. It will explode figure skating Twitter. While I'm fully prepared for the inflation era, I do want to say that this is not about Ilya Melanin, but it's rather about the corruption of the ISU and the judges. I really hope the fans do not dump everything on this kid instead of holding accountable the institution that's making this corruption possible. I can only pray that Ilya is strong enough for the shitstorm that is coming his way. The negative sector of the Hanyu fandom and the negative sector of the Nathan fandom are forming an intersection that will now meet at Ilya's door and I feel like it is not going to be pretty some of these negative fans are preparing to destroy this child on social media everything that he does or doesn't do will become a problem this unfortunately has been part of skating no matter how long skating goes on this cycle is and will always remain so you guys let me know, what do you think the era of inflation is going to look like?